are headed in to see who are we going to see Aspen are we going to see Papa no no he says no he's been a stinker this morning he was talking to his dad and he said hey Matt Matt yeah what you want a hat got daddy's hat. Your black one's in the back if you want to answer it. I can't reach it. But... Ruggle it over there. Oh, okay. He's starting to figure it out. He's trying to figure out what he's supposed to do. What are you putting on your daddy's glasses? No, I'm putting on daddy and I'm I think you oh, just yeah. said no. Go, Dad. Yeah, Dad. He couldn't wear the sunglasses and the thing at the same time, so we had to. Yeah, I'm We don't say. <laughs> He's got a long run. Yeah, I'm so glad I have these on because I'm going to go to that. No, it was that doesn't yeah, make any sense. Yeah, it was sense. late in the morning last night. Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. No, it was early in the morning last no. night. No! I thought it was late in no. the morning last night. Her phone's ringing. Sorry. Call rejected. Oh, You've been rejected. <laughs> late in the morning last night. Stop that with your faces there. <laughs> Well, I don't ask you to stop with your face, and that's pretty funny, look <laughs> <laughs> Yep. I, I She's at it again. She's waiting to get grounded. She's like, please, Mom, please ground me. Let me open my mouth so you can ground me. Well, well you know, you know, you know, I, I haven't, like... Aspen, like, um, I'm ignoring you because it's sad or you get grounded. Aspen, who are we here to see? We can see Papa? Yeah, Papa's working. We're stopping down to see Papa while he's working. I'm, yeah, you're you're on the verge. Oh. Mom. You killed the dinosaur. Oh. I'm the reason for extinction. He's getting all excited because Papa's in there. All excited because he's visiting his Papa at Papa's work. Where's Papa at? Papa. Should we go see Papa? Come on, let's go see Papa. No, Where's Papa? There he is, hard at work. Your hand? You need my hand? Yeah. 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 Where are we going? Where are we going? Let's go with that. Papa! Yeah! with you. He's been cranking this poor baby. You made him think you fell. What do you got? Did Papa get you that? Did Papa get you Olaf? Olaf. Are you going to build a snowman? Trucks. You don't like the trucks, do you? Fuck. You don't like oh, the big trucks? Dad, remember? Uh, he sees all the big trucks driving by and he does not like it. Well, that's not a big truck. Here comes another one. Here comes a big truck. There you go. Yeah. Those are the big trucks he doesn't like. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> You don't like the big trucks? Trucks. Truck. Yeah. 
What? We're not going rail. Where are you going? Bye. He's gotta go now. Are you leaving? Yeah, I'm on. Bye. I'm gonna go help. I gotta help you. Where are we going? I'm gonna help you down. Help you down. Where are we going? I'll be in. What do you see? Wait, come on. Okay, I'm coming. We gotta run. What are we running from? Come on, I'm going What are we running from? We gotta go back out? Yeah, come on. Come on, okay. Okay, sit. Sit. I gotta sit? Okay. You gonna sit with me? What are you doing? Oh, okay. Where'd you go? I don't know where he went. Hey, don't touch the buttons. I'm doing it. Yeah, you do it, but don't mess with Papa's buttons. Quit messing with the I buttons. Did it. I know you did it, but quit messing with the buttons. Aspen. No way. Aspen. What are you doing? No, no. Oh, don't touch. No, don't touch. Don't touch. No, don't touch. No, no. No, you don't touch. Mom. What? Oh, head up. <laughs> He's trying to push me out the door so I can't see him messing with the buttons, I think. Want to down? down. You want down? Oh, camera's falling. Uh-oh. What happened? He's Irish. You? Hey, no, no. You stuck, stuck me out the door so I wouldn't see you messing with Papa's buttons. Stop that. Yes. Bye. Give me a hug. Give a kiss so you can go bye bye. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. You know what? Come on. Give me a hug and kiss. Give me a hug and kiss so you can go bye bye. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm hungry. He's hungry. You're You're hungry? What are you hungry for? I'm hungry now. You want some ice cream and candy and. Uh? You want a hamburger? See if I got enough for a hamburger. Hamburger, fifty cents. Can you buy it? They're fifty cents. Buy a hamburger. You have to give that to your daddy. He has to put money with it. <laughs> what? <Whoa. laughs> what you hey. just did? Oh. Give me my twenty dollars. <laughs> you know what? I love you. Can I have your money? Tiny, tiny. Don't Give forget your duck. Don't forget Olaf. He called it a duck. <laughs> he said, he's Did like, you this white thing with a beak. <laughs> My cat. Put, it, put the money in his he's pocket. He's going to put it in his pocket. Unzip, unzip yes, that's pocket. what he's saying. Pop. Pop. Put the money in his pocket. No, no, no. Not in there. Well, not in there. Hello. You're going to lose your money. Here, put it, in, put it in the pocket. Grandpa, yeah. show you. Yeah, here, here, put the money here. Here, here. put the money in. And you're Ola. Good job. Oh, good job. Bye. 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 There, it's all zipped up. There, there's your money. Money's in there. You gotta play a clapping. Hey, you wanna see him do a flip? You gotta play jumping. He says. Hey, watch Ola. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> oh. 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 He sure likes his Olaf, Grandpa. He likes his Olaf. I'm doing something. I'm doing. All right, guys. So we got to see Papa, and we are headed home now. Finally, <laughs> gaming time. So weird. But we're headed home. We picked up some much needed household supplies. We needed some razors. <laughs> oh, what are you doing back there? I threw my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. 
take these two anywhere together. They're just naughty. You're naughty. Okay. But we picked up some much needed razors and shaving cream for the guys and uh, toothpaste for the whole house. Because let me tell you what, using kid toothpaste, little trial size tubes that my kids brought home from school because I ran out and needed to go to the store and get some, just was not fun this morning. So, yeah, it tasted awful. Yeah. But I was desperate. Tierlin so. shaves her beard and ruins all my razors. <laughs> I don't have a beard. I have a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so we finally picked up some toothpaste and we were at the dollar store, you guys, and they had these really cool things there that I wanted to pick up one for Ireland, but I was really just shopping for household supplies today, so I didn't. But you know those little sun catchers? You're so loud, Becker. He's been on a roll. He's a crazy man. You know those little like sun dancing things? They had these little castle ones with a princess and above it was a little Pegasus and the sun, when it hits it, would make the little Pegasus like flown above the castle and fly. It was really cute and I almost got it, but I was like, eh. We really try to avoid impulse shopping as much as possible. I know it was only a buck, but a dollar is a dollar. And if we're not out to do a little extra spending, we really try to keep the budget as close as we can. What are you talking about <laughs> back there? You guys. I could draw a mustache on look. Look. That's my bag. Yeah, she likes to put yeah, permanent okay. marker mustaches on her lips. And one day she drew, I it's on my I Instagram can't. page, she drew a monocle on her eye okay. with a mustache, with like a little handlebar mustache. It was beautiful, except my mustache was like lopsided, so I have one down here and like... <laughs> she had a lust-sided, you know, lust you know, no, a lopsided you know mustache. The bad thing? That Sharpie or that highlighter he put on my tongue that didn't actually taste that bad. I heard it again. I don't know what this phase is that he's going through, but back there I just heard him say, we gotta go home, Matt. He's been calling his daddy Matt all morning. Wait, wait, can what? Can you say Toby? I gotta get a puppy. You gotta get the puppy? Yeah. Aww. You gotta get the puppy. Aspen. Say Matt. Daddy, you're gonna get Poppy. He's such a stinker. He won't say it if you want him Wait, to. Wait, Poop. Daddy, you're gonna get Poppy. Can you say Toby? For the camera? No, Toby. What's he going on about a puppy Toby. for? He's like, I want to go buy a puppy. No, Toby, he says. No, Toby. Poot, can, Toby. Poot. can you say Kermit? No, Toby, yes, yes. <laughs> no, Toby. No, Toby. Say Kermit. And the awesome man. Yeah, we've been discussing the way he talks. He has this little like, he almost sounds like a little French man when he talks. We're gonna have to start calling you French. What's my new nickname? What are you doing back there? <laughs> he drew on his own tongue. I can see it. Don't draw so, on your say tongue. Say Kermit. Hey, Foot, can you sing like Kermit? Foot. Right on his tongue. He's too busy showing us the highlighter he put on his tongue. Oh, Poot, listen. Oh. Why are there so many songs about rainbows in what's on the other side? Noodles approves that. You approve? Yes. Dad's Kermit rendition? Oh, no. That's Hi, trademarked. Kermit the Frog here. Everybody sing. I'm a Caribbean amphibian. I like to hop in the tropical sea, Caribbean, amphibian. Oh, oh, won't you sing along with me? I gotta show you what I did. Hold on, let me show them. Okay, so you see that? Okay, so this, There's... this, this is Frank. This is Frank. And since this thing was here, I drew this like half little body, so Frank's crushed on there. And then there's <laughs> Frank now. Just thought I'd. So that. let me show them. Let's see it. This. Let me see your tattoo. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it. There it is. Yeah. He's a huge Kermit the Frog fan. Huge. He was gonna name his son Kermit. Look at these, you guys. My irises, they're all blooming. They look so pretty. There's so many of them. There are so many babies. Like when we first got our house, 
There was just, I have so many weeds to pull. I know, it's so ugly back there. I need some gloves for those, though. Those are nettles, and they sting to grab, so. But um, when I first got the house, there were just a few right here in this little, you can see it's all, it all needs to be redone. I haven't done any landscaping in the house yet, um, and I'm dying to get to it, and it's kind of getting late in the year. Would have liked to have had some flowers in, but these I'm going to transplant, and I'm going to show you where I'm going to take them. I want to transplant them because I actually want to use the front of the yard for a play area for the kids, but I have this area towards the side of the house that hidden in the grass, it's kind of, I don't even think you can see it. Well, maybe over here you can, but there's some paver block already on the side of the house that I want to take and make a really pretty garden area for Mrs. Palmer's irises. Um, and like I said in the video the other day, I named them Mrs. Palmer's irises because of Dr. and Mr. Palmer that owned the house. Um, and I do believe she planted them. These are her lilac bushes and they're, I don't think they're going to bloom this year. We had to cut them down last year because they were diseased. Um, but I want to actually take these and transplant these over to the other side of the house. I don't know if it's possible, but I'm sure going to try. Um, because I want to turn this front area all into an area for the kids to play. All right, so I think today is finally the day now that I've gotten my book in and I've reached that deadline. I have to start the revisions on book one. And I'm going to do that tonight. But I did a lot of day writing last week, and that's normally the time that I take to kind of try to keep our house in order. We have a lot of people in our house, obviously. We have seven kids, six of which live at home all the time. And then, of course, Charlie comes to see us when she's not working and stuff like that. So, But with as many people as we have in our house, it's very, very easy for our house to get into a state of disarray. And I know that there is a fellow vlogger that I watch, and I think their channel is really cool. Their name is Jet Life, and she was talking about um, just how, you know, when a home is lived in, a mess happens. And it does. I mean, it does. And when you have as many people in a house as we do in ours, or if you have really small children in your home, um, and teenagers, we all know about those teenager rooms. Um, except for my 13 year old. She has like an amazingly clean room. She is anal about her room. She goes and cleans it every day, which I am blessed, blessed to have that. Um, but you know, moms, dads, you know how quickly a house can become a disaster. And there she is. She's going to pick up her brother and sister today from school. But this is my girl right here. Yeah. She has an immaculately clean room all the time. But anyway, I was saying, we were, I was uh, watching a fellow vlogger's vlog today and she was talking about how um, when you live in a house, it gets lived in and messes happen. And that, it's so true, it does. And with my writing schedule this week, our house has fallen into Ooh, disaster. a disaster area. So today I'm working on that. Matt's gonna keep the kids busy later. And then I'm hoping right. I'm finally gonna get this house, nice. the ceiling painted in the living room, which would be amazing. And she's like, Mom, please, please do some laundry for me. Just I do, do I it. I need clean. some clean clothes. So that's what Mama's doing today. She is hitting some household chores, and hopefully, Dad can help keep the kids busy. And it sounded like you guys were gonna go to the park, huh? Yeah, I might. Take She's thinking park. about it. Wait, does Charlie watch the vlog? Uh, yeah. Charlie, I'm wearing the necklace you got me. So she's talking to her big sister, and her big sister does watch the vlogs and stuff. Yeah. So she can get some messages out every yeah. day to her, which is nice when they don't get to see each other every day. Yeah. So, but yeah, shout out to Jet Life. Um, for just keeping it real. That is that is so cool. And they have a beautiful family. Go over, check out their channel. Um, I'm going to try to put the link below. I'm not great at doing that, so I'm going to try. But shout out to Jet Life um, just on keeping it real. That's so cool, guys. Keep doing what you're doing. You have a beautiful family. And hey, guys, go check out their, go check out their channel. Give them some love. Subscribe. Link will be down below. I'm going to try to get it, guys. I'm going to try to. If not... They're Jet Life, J-E-T-T -T, Life, Jet Life. Check them out.
So I'm gonna hit these dishes now. Get it done, get it out of there, and then tonight, come on, cross your fingers. I'm gonna get the ceiling painted. I've been wanting to do it forever. I'm trying to get this base coat on so that I can do a really cool gold overlay on it. Um, but the gold paint is like, it's really expensive. It's like $25 for, I don't know if that's a quart or a pint or whatever I'm getting, I don't know, half gallon. I, th I think it's like a, a quart of paint. Um, but it's like 25 bucks. And so to do the whole ceiling, and I, I've said many times in our vlog, I'm so for saving money anywhere that I can. Um, but I wanna put this paint on. It's really, really pretty and it looks great with the old radiators but I wanna save some money and do it because it just doesn't cover good enough because it's a metallic paint. So I found a base coat that's real close to the color and it's a latex, so I'm gonna do that first and then I'm either gonna sponge on the gold because I think that'd give it a cool textured look or I'm gonna roll it on and paint it and put the gold overlay on top. So I haven't quite decided, but tonight I'm gonna to try to get that base coat on. That's what I've been working for. Take a butt. Puppy? Take a butt. Take a butt. Did you ask Daddy if he wanted to go pee? Yeah. Did you say, do you want to go pee? Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> You're trying to touch the button. I'm going to go pee. Ah. Can I go pee? Go pee. Go. Gotta go pee. Yeah. Can I go pee? You go hide them. Um. Yeah, Daddy taking you outside. I gotta find my pop. Mommy's gonna do some laundry, pick up the living room, oh, hi. dining yeah. room, toy room, say they're messy. Mm hmm. This yours or mine? You're gonna go play outside with your this daddy, huh? Mine. That one's mine, sweetheart. Oh. He's trying to drink my pop. Mm, that's a no no in this house. Don't touch my pop. Say, don't touch mama's pop. No, don't touch All it. All knocking on the side door again. <sighs> Neighbor kids mm -hmm. knocking on the side door. Mom, going outside. Every day this week. You sure that's fine? Are yours? I don't know. Maybe it's not. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> what? <laughs> what? I want to go. Yeah, this one on the table is mine. Did you try it? Yeah, I already know it is. I took a drink out of it just a few minutes oh, ago. I don't have one, apparently. Oh, we can go get one in a little bit. Come on. Go with Daddy. Here. Take him, Daddy. <laughs> Uh, Mama's no. gotta do some housework. Outside. 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 Come on. Come on. He's a mama baby. Am I taking you out? I'll carry you out. You go play. Yeah, you go play. Yeah, you go play. He just wants to enjoy this weather. Wants to enjoy this weather, and mom really wants to get some housework done. I need it so bad. On the porch. There you go. You go play. You go play. Ireland left her shoes. Oh, I'm shaking. I don't have my regular vlogging equipment with me. 
She left her shoes. Today, I kind of heard something um, just on social media. And, you know, I'm on there a lot, especially with, like, my writing and stuff like that. And um, I heard somebody say something about, like, what – how do I want to put this? I don't know. I'm trying to put this in, like – just about, like, relationships in general, I guess I would say. And um, they were kind of talking about, like – what makes a man a man or whatever. I don't know. I guess that's what you say. Um, in a relationship and that, you know, we're in modern times and blah, blah, blah. And that's, that's fine. That's all fine and good. I get that we're in modern times. I'm all for that. I'm for our women's rights and, you know, father's rights and stuff like that. I get that we are in modern times. But I want to say, you know, you hear a lot of marriage is 50-50, blah, blah, blah. Marriage is not 50-50. It's not. At least not in my book. It is not 50-50. Divorce, and I'm sure people have heard this said, divorce is 50-50. Marriage is 100-100. You put in everything you can to your marriage. Both spouses. It doesn't matter. Every relationship is different. The dynamics of really every relationship is different for people. You know, what's good for one relationship may not be good for another. That being said, you know, for example, in our home, I do a lot of the cleaning. My husband and I do the cooking probably 50-50. Sometimes he does the cooking a lot more than I do. Um, but what a lot of people don't know about our family is like with my husband, but like with my husband, he is, and not a lot of people know this. I mean, well, if you know us really well, you do know this, but he is disabled. He has a completely reconstructed back. So there's a lot of things in our home that he can't help me do. And I do a lot of that. Um, a lot of the housework, stuff like that. He, I mean, he'll do the dishes and stuff, but it's hard for me with a good back to lean over our sink. It's very low. So for him to do dishes, he actually has to sit in a chair and do them. And so you may see that like when I'm vlogging and stuff, I'm doing a lot of the housework in the house. I do the laundry, chores, stuff like that. But there are a lot of things that my husband does to help out in the house as well. And I don't know, I guess maybe it's just a tangent, whatever. Um, but I guess looking at a relationship like if I do the dishes, then you need to mop the floor. To me, that's hard on a relationship. It's like keeping tabs on what's been done. But doing things for each other, that's love. I mean, you're just doing it because I'm doing it because I love my family, because I want them to live in a clean house, because I want my kids to have memories of a nice home, and I want them to have those things. And I'm not keeping tabs on my relationship, on who's doing what and where it's being done. If I'm walking through the kitchen and my husband's cooking dinner for me and the family, I guess to me that's him saying that he loves me. Him pumping gas in my car so that I never have to pump the gas in the car, which is just something really silly, that's saying I love you. Those are the important things. But yeah, to me, those are the important things. Not keeping tabs on who's doing what in a relationship. It just, I mean, I don't know. It was just something that I saw on social media. And it was something that, you know, I mean, social media is what it is. You know, it's, I mean, it's not real life. But people do put put things out there that they're thinking that like pop out of their head and whatever. Like I'm doing right now. But I don't know. Just just kind of wanted to put that out there. Every relationship is different. Every dynamic of a relationship is different. And you never know when you're looking from the outside into someone's relationship, what it is that keeps their love going. Matt and I have been together for, well, we've been married. This will be our 12th anniversary in June. And we've been together for almost 15 years, a long time. You know, that's a long relationship and a lot of relationships nowadays, they don't have the longevity. And I guess to me, you know, you learn as your, 
as you grow as a couple. Everybody makes mistakes when you're a couple. Matt and I have made a ton of mistakes in our relationship with each other, but learning to grow and learning that it's not keeping tabs because that to me is the number one relationship killer, the keeping tabs. And it's an easy trap to fall into. And so, I don't know, just a rant, whatever it said, it is, it is, whatever it is. You know, you can agree, disagree. I don't know. What do you think? Do you think a relationship is 50-50? Yes or no? That's our poll for the day. So T's really excited because look what she's eating for dinner. What is that? Shrimp. She's got shrimp for dinner tonight, courtesy of her daddy. We're having a fish night. That's kind of squishy. Squishy? It kind of feels like a finger. What else are you eating with it? Oh, cod. It's really loud in here. Yeah, we're having cod and a little bit of shrimp. Matt's out here just frying away. Got my plate for me. Yum! It looks so good. I can't wait to eat it. Bananas, 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 tacos, 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 apples, apples. This little guy right here is downstairs with us right now. He was put to bed and he just was crying and crying and just not ready to go to sleep. So we're giving him a little playtime and just letting him relax. Hopefully he'll go night night in a little bit. Okay, so it's the end of the night. Finally got the kids settled down and in bed. It is a hot one here today. Well, it's been a hot one here today. And um, so our upstairs is really warm. We do not have central air in our house. Eventually down the road, we'd like to add it. But right now we have window air and those are not turned on yet. So we've got some fans going for the kids and they were just kind of uncomfortable and 
just needing it to cool down a little bit. And finally, it's starting to cool down for them upstairs, which is nice. But um, yeah, I'm thinking we're going to have to kick on the air if these temperatures keep up. Because, I mean, it was in the probably high 80s today. I don't know, maybe it was even higher than that. It kind of felt like it. And I think it just, kids were kind of crabby from it for a lot of part of the day. And a lot of part of the day. I don't know, I think I'm getting tired. And I'm getting ready to, of course, but... Anyway, bleh, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Um, but the kids were just growly for part of the day today. Um, anyway, I'm sporting my jammies because I'm actually getting ready to hit my writing. And um, first I've got to upload tomorrow's vlog or, well, this vlog. Um, but anyway, so I am getting ready to hit the edits for the newly revised book one in the Pen Hollow Chronicles. So that's really exciting. And I'm going to check my email, see if anything's come back from Sasha on book number four. I'm not sure. Um, I haven't really checked it a whole lot today. But yeah, so that's where we're at. I hope you enjoyed today's episode and we'll see you tomorrow. Have a great night all.